However, can we just be look at things objectively, not every person we meet will be immediately enchanted by us. It very well may be a piece disrupting to contemplate, however actually we as a whole convey specific characteristics or propensities that can be obnoxious to other people. These can go from unpretentious prompts in our nonverbal communication to additional conspicuous parts of our character. And keeping in mind that it's memorable is essential that you can't satisfy everybody. Understanding these potential triggers can assist us with exploring social circumstances all the more really. So in the event that you've at any point ended up asking why somebody probably won't fancy you immediately, you're perfectly positioned. Remain with us as we dive into seven justifications for why individuals could loathe you right away. For one thing, negative nonverbal communication. It's a frequently disregarded factor, yet the way in which we convey ourselves can essentially impact the effects we have on others. Picture this. You're at a get-together and you experience somebody with their arms crossed, keeping away from eye-to-eye connection or continually looking at their telephone. How might you feel? Presumably not exceptionally connected with or invited, correct? This is on the grounds that our nonverbal communication conveys strong messages about our perspectives and sentiments. At the point when we display shut-off or negative way of behaving, it tends to be disconcerting to everyone around us. It might cause others to feel awkward, unwanted, or even irrelevant. On the other side, Open and positive nonverbal communication can encourage association and understanding. It can cause individuals to feel esteemed and regarded. So whenever you're in a social circumstance, make sure to be aware of your nonverbal communication. Recall our bodies say a lot before we significantly utter a word and. Furthermore, pomposity can be a mood killer. It's fundamental to recognize certainty and pomposity. Certainty is the confidence in oneself and one's powers or capacities. A positive quality radiates through your activities, words and by and large disposition. It resembles a magnet. It draws individuals towards you. Yet, when certainty crosses a line and becomes carelessness, it's something else entirely game. Carelessness can frequently seem to be pomposity. It makes a picture of a too confident, too certain individual is excessively confident, excessively certain and can appear to be selfish. This discernment can be disconcerting, causing others to feel awkward or even second-rate like an air pocket of self-reverence secludes you from the world. Keep in mind, individuals value veritable certainty, not a demonstration of prevalence. It's critical to be aware of how your certainty might be seen by others. Carelessness can estrange you from others, while adjusted certainty can make you receptive and affable. Balance is critical. Certainty is alluring, however arrogance isn't. Thirdly, absence of compassion can drive individuals away. Maybe compassion is the pace that ties us generally together. It's that ability to feel what someone else is encountering from inside their edge of reference. It's tied in with grasping their sentiments and concerns. Without it, our human associations bobble and waver. Envision this. You're sharing an individual story, spilling your guts, and the individual you're conversing with simply gestures, apparently uninterested or unaffected. Disappointing, correct? Absence of sympathy does that. It makes a gorge of void that causes the other individual to feel unheard, concealed and unvalued. Sympathy isn't tied in with concurring with everybody or turning into a mat. It's tied in with recognizing and regarding others' sentiments, regardless of whether they vary from yours. It's tied in with showing that you care that you're there and that you comprehend. While that is deficient with regards to, it can make individuals loathe you. Sympathy interfaces us. Absence of it isolates us. Keep in mind, without sympathy, we are only islands in the ocean of humankind. Fourthly, being critical is a reliable method for being despised. Why? At the point when we are excessively basic or critical, it can cause others to feel awkward, cautious, and, surprisingly, lacking. Everybody has their own special process, their own story to tell. At the point when we judge, we're basically saying I understand better compared to you. My way is the correct way. This can rapidly disintegrate the trust and regard that are basic to any relationship. Envision you're at a get-together and somebody begins censuring your decisions, your way of life, or even your desire for music. How might that cause you to feel? Reasonable not excellent. You'd presumably begin to pull away from that individual, correct? It's a characteristic response to shield ourselves from judgment and analysis, recollect? We as a whole have qualities and shortcomings, tolerating individuals for what their identity is, with every one of their characteristics and mannerisms, is a vital aspect for cultivating association. Acknowledgement breeds association. Judgment makes boundaries. Fourthly, being critical is a dependable method for being disdained. Why? 
At the point when we are excessively basic or critical, it can cause others to feel awkward, protective, and, surprisingly, deficient. Everybody has their own special process, their own story to tell. At the point when we judge, we're basically saying I understand better compared to you. My way is the correct way. This can rapidly disintegrate the trust and regard that are crucial to any relationship. Envision you're at a get-together and somebody begins reprimanding your decisions, your way of life, or even your desire for music. How might that cause you to feel? Possible not generally excellent. You'd most likely begin to pull away from that individual, correct? It's a characteristic response to safeguard ourselves from judgment and analysis. Keep in mind, we as a whole have qualities and shortcomings. Tolerating individuals for what their identity is, with every one of their eccentricities and mannerisms, is a vital aspect for encouraging association. Acknowledgement breeds association. Judgment makes boundaries, wildly. Contemptibility is a significant side road. Picture this. You're having a discussion with somebody and you unexpectedly acknowledge they're not being completely honest. It seems like an insult, isn't that so? Contemptibility, even in the most trivial issues, can taint your picture in a split second. Trust me when I say lies have an approach to surfacing sometime, and when they do, they abandon a path of question and frustration. It's not just about being trapped in completely false, it's about the harm it causes for your believability. Each harmless embellishment, each misleading statement works on the groundwork of trust you've fabricated. It's basic, truly. We pine for legitimacy. We esteem truth and we regard the people who maintain it. Deceitfulness, then again, resembles a stain on your personality. Difficult to scour off once it's there. Trustworthiness is the smartest strategy. It assembles trust and regard. Sixthly, cynicism can make individuals detest you in a flash. Presently envision this. You're in a room loaded up with wonderful workmanship, however you just spotlight on the minor defects. Pessimism does that. It blinds us from seeing the magnificence in circumstances and keeps us caught in a pattern of protests and disappointment. Pessimism can be depleting for everyone around us. Like a foreboding shadow eclipses all the great and the positive. At the point when we continually whine or consistently see the most exceedingly terrible in things, we become less affable. We begin to repulse individuals. Since can we just be look at things objectively, who needs to be around a consistent killjoy? Recalling that is significant. It's actually not necessary to focus on faking inspiration or overlooking the awful. It's tied in with recognizing the negative yet deciding to zero in on the positive. Since by the day's end, energy draws in. It attracts individuals and makes them need to associate with you. Inspiration draws in, cynicism repulses. Finally, impolite way of behaving is a certain method for being disdained. An expansive term includes activities and words that disparage, belittle, or dismiss others. It very well may be all around as basic as interfering with somebody while they're talking, or as perplexing as offering overly critical remarks about their way of life's convictions or way of life discourteous. Conduct can immediately make a boundary among you and individuals around you. It flags an absence of respect for other sentiments and encounters. It resembles a neon sign that shouts I don't esteem you. What's more, can we just be look at things objectively, who needs to associate with somebody who doesn't regard them? The counteractant to slight is obviously. Regard. Treating others with generosity and thought communicates something specific of acknowledgement and appreciation. It shows that you esteem their considerations, thoughts, and commitments. It's tied in with recognizing the intrinsic worth in each individual. So recollect, regard procures adoration. A front procures hate. You get to conclude which one you need to develop. To wrap things up, we should bring a fast excursion through a world of fond memories and return to the seven reasons we've examined today that may be making individuals immediately despise you. Furthermore, more significantly, how about we additionally help ourselves to remember the arrangements that can assist us with beating these obstacles? For one thing, we discuss negative nonverbal communication. Slump shoulders, stayed away from eye to eye connection, crossed arms. They all farewell flags that you're cut off or uninterested. To counter this, work on taking on open and welcoming nonverbal communication. Stand tall, keep in touch, and ensure your nonverbal communication matches your words. Next, we handled arrogance. While certainty is appealing, being excessively so can appear to be pomposity. The arrangement Balance your certainty. Be guaranteed in your capacities, yet in addition be available to criticism and ready to concede when you're off base. Our third point was an absence of sympathy. Sympathy is the capacity to comprehend and talk about the thoughts of others. 
assuming that you're battling with this, attempt to rehearse sympathy day to day. Listen more. Attempt to figure out different points of view and show real worry for other people. We then, at that point, dug into the issue of being critical. Rushing to make judgment calls about individuals can drive them away. Rushing to make judgment calls about individuals can drive them away. In this way, attempt to be more receptive and assume the best about individuals. Deceptive nature came up straight away. Trust is the underpinning of any relationship, so consistently endeavor to tell the truth, in any event, when it's hard. It could not generally be the most straightforward way, but rather the one forms trust and regard. Pessimism was our sixth point. No one enjoys a killjoy. Attempt to zero in on the positive parts of life. Indeed, it's all right to feel down now and then, however don't allow it to turn into your default state. Lastly, we examine rude way of behaving. Everybody merits regard, no matter what their status or contrasts. So make it a highlight recognize everybody you connect with. Keep in mind, everybody won't care for you, and that is not a problem. However, understanding these reasons can assist you work on your cooperations and associations with others. Good day. He additionally could